Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Drain Valley 2. I've had a little bit of a break. I've rested my brain just by wandering the pastures, admiring the cows, and now I'm ready to get back to solving puzzles. Right, customs is closed. I cannot bring anybody in or out of customs for a minute. Actually, I can, because I can send that up through. Not that it really makes much difference. Um, oh, I know what I want to do. I know what I want to do. I want to send that one out because I want more workers over there. And I want to send coal back through there so that I've got 15 over there in total. Send back through the coal. You switch and you switch so that you go back over that way. And then you will go as well. Need this one to get through customs first. Like that. And that's down. You know what? I'm going to send another one. While this is open, let's get another thing of coal. Just in case. Just in case, you know, we, we have something go horribly wrong. We get a second lot of coal going up through. And then we, we shouldn't have any issues. More people to customs. And another load of workers going into the coal mine. That's not going to hurt anything, is it? And keep everything ticking along. And then... Right, uh, they've got two workers in there, so that shouldn't be any issues there at all. They should be able to keep, yeah, that, that's fine. Right, so that makes it up to seven, and then that one goes in, and then I get ten lots of coal going in there, and then you can go through, I'll get two lots of you going in as well. There's another one, and you can go out, so you send some workers over that way. Might just pause you on the track over here. I don't have a... Is do not destroy tracks. That's the, the, the big thing that we've got is don't destroy any tracks. So that I can manage. And send them. Those two can go through. That's, that's going to allow us 20 copper bars over there. I got the workers for it as well. So it will be a, to a grand total of 20 copper bars that we've got over that side. Off you go. You go through as well. So next up, I want to get these books over here. And I need to get them back over this side. But I can't get books until I've got power. I can get the people over there, and I can get the people over to this one as well. And just get that uh, train look right. Okay. How are we going to do this? We've got 10 minutes left. I think that we do want to bring this out over here like this. This is the only way that we're going to be able to connect this one up. We come over here like that. To go that way it's got to go through there and then connect that into there right so i've now got power being supplied to everything okay except that one and that one which are the ones that need it because power is not ready yet there yet but i then take that one and i bring you down here like that and join that one in and the next bit, so I'm going to need scholars going into that one and that one. Well, they will go up around the top and into there, up around the top and into there. So that will be fine. That's not going to be a problem. But getting the materials into this one, this is a little bit more of an issue. Because this is completely secluded up here. Now, I can bring some workers off of that one there. The one there that needs the copper bars. I suspect that we're going to need to be able to do that anyway because I got steep slopes on there. So this is going to it's going to make things tricky, right? If I put that across there, that's going to cause me some. I need to put one there and one there. That's fifty-eight thousand. That one is, and then I need another one across there for twenty-two thousand, and then I need to join. Oh, wait, what? I can't... I, I can't even go across there. Yeah, I can't join that in, which means I've got to stop and reverse trains to get them into that bit. And then I can reverse them and bring them out over here. That might have been a mistake. No, I don't think it was. I can still build a tunnel here because I can still go underneath there. I can't join anything onto that track, but, oh, I know what I can do. I can build a bridge onto here, 
right across there, which would go across and it would, so I could do a straight line onto there and get onto that side. There, like that. Right, and then that one will go straight onto there. That one will go straight onto there. That one, no, we don't want to do anything there. Right. Allow those to connect, and then... A little bit more track wants to go over to that side, so that one's connected up. So now I can bring a rubber tire out that way. Still can't do anything else with rubber tires. I can only get over to this bit so far. Which is not very helpful. Ah, I see. We're going to need to bring the rubber tires out over here. Right, I could bring... Uh, I can't go anywhere else there. I can. Uh, I can't really do anything there either. Can't do anything from there. I can't do anything from there. Right, that's that's not really going to be an option there, because I can't bring anything off of that side. So you've got to come through to here, which means the only way I'm going to be able to get anything out of there is a bridge goes there. That's no good. That's no good either. A tunnel. Doesn't really do anything, so I could put a tunnel there. And I can put a tunnel there, and I would assume that I can put a track that goes through the rest of it. I can't bring anything out off of there. Hey, you, I can't bring anything out off of there, and I can't bring anything out off of there. But I could bring a straight line down across there, so we go across the track. Uh, but that one then, really, I just want to bring that one out over this way. Go from there. I want to go from there like that. That's got to go straight across. Uh, I want to go straight across this one like that over there. And I want to go up onto that track there. That's going to bring the rubber tires out onto the main one. Bring them roughly where I want, I think. Right, I think I got to do that. Because then the rubber tire will go out round and it will go up that way. It's the only way it can go. And it goes over this way. And it goes back round and it's got to go that way. I've got to stop it and then I've got to reverse it back into there. Now, that's not too bad. If I need 10 appliances to be able to make those 10. And then I need another 5. So I need 15 appliances. So I need 3 loads of rubber tires to be able to do that. And 3 loads of copper. So the copper will go in here. So I've, I've got to back up. I, each one I'm going to have to reverse in. And I can't see that I've got any other way of being able to do that. Unless I could... Ooh. Ooh. Just bring it in there. Like that. Bring you up there like that. Switch you over. Switch you over. So you go out, you go round. I didn't need to build that bridge at all. What a complete and total waste of money. Never mind. We've done it now. So I got one train over there. I don't have any other trains. I've got power all joined up. So let's send out one of those. Round there. That's going to go up round that way. And then it'll go straight in. That would be a much better way of doing this. Just run it straight in rather than doing anything ridiculous. And do the same again over there. So that's the only customs thing we've got. It's that way. So I'll bring those in. Now we do have to be very careful now because of the whole issue with uh, workers, um, with trains crossing over and smashing into each other. So that one there will come out and it will come down. It's not going to... So, the copper, I am going to have to do that with the copper, aren't I? Oh, wait a minute. No, no, because even if that does come round, it's not going to be able to get round there tight enough. That's, that's too close together. So, the copper is going to need to use it. So, that's going to go down to here and stop. I'll do the same again. I'll send, I'll send out some more, like this. Let me just pause a second. And... Workers can go that way. Uh, send out some workers there. They will go down around to there. I'm going to send them there. I want workers in here. 
copper train and come down to here. Stop that one. Switch that one over and I turn you back the other way and then I'll send out that one as well. So that copper train's going to come in. So I've got 10 lots in there so far. I need 15. So I need one more lot of copper and then I'll need the various workers and stuff that we want up there as well. Switch you over and send you back. So that one's going to go in and then I can send 10 workers out from here. Then go straight up through just like that. And I send out another one. Next up, I let all these trains run through. Uh, I need to be able to get the books out of here. I want books coming out of there. I've got power. The power is coming in. So all I really need to do is uh, 22,000, 37. I've got plenty of money at the moment, so we can just do that. And then you can go up there and you can go back in there like that. Right. So that one's working. Uh, two lots of workers going up there. I want to send... Can I send them up there? I could send some workers from here. I want to get workers over there. Send them that way, but I can send them around that way and send them out from here. Except those I kind of want down this way. Uh, workers there. This middle line has got workers to come out. They can go over there. Can't send them that way because that one's already got a track on it. But what I could do is send that one out. Like that. Switch you over. And dispatch some workers. Right. Right. I'll dispatch workers from this side. I don't want to send them up there. I want to switch that one there. So then they go up and I'll switch that one. They go on up. They will go through. And I want to switch that one over there. Right. I want to go around and I'll follow that immediately behind with another lot of workers. So that's going to get the books down here. Those are now making. We're making those absolutely perfectly. And once I've got a... I need to get five of those back down on this track... Which is easy enough because I can put a line across there and then I can send those appliances out. They can come that way and then back up round, I think. That might be the best way to do it. So something along those lines anyway. And that one can go out and that can send a line of workers into here. So there will be 15 workers have gone into there altogether. I don't need any books back here. I only actually need 10 books. I need to get 10 books back over this side. It's going to be relatively straightforward. And I'll run you through. So if you go down this way. There. I want to get them into here, don't I? You go over there. I could back you up. How do I get the... Oh, no, yeah, that's all right. Okay. Just switch you over and send you down this way. Right, wait. Why is there no power in here? Goes around there. Why is there no power? Does the power not go across a bridge? Ah. I see. Power doesn't go through unless customs is open. That is most intriguing. So let's just pause that train there a minute. You over here. Pause that one a minute. And switch that over. That will go back this way. Switch you there. Switch you there. Switch you there. Go. Well, I didn't pause that. I should have paused it. We've got 18 minutes to do this. Right, you go round that way, and that's going to get those materials in there. That's all going in the right direction. That's fine. And so I want to bring that one out, and I want to loop that down onto there. That's going to be the easiest way to do that. Uh, I want to get customs going up here, so I want to switch you over. 
Customs has got to be open for the power to get through. That is very, very interesting. It's something that we didn't see. We, did, we didn't sort of even click that that might be a thing. But yes, that is a thing. It's definitely a thing. So you go through that way, and I want to get some more rubber tires going up this way. So we'll switch here. That's got those five going in there. Rubber tires can go up around that way. I can send out another lot of rubber tires. They're going to, yeah, they are definitely going to go the right direction. And yes, you have to have customs open in order to get the power to run through. Right. Well, that's fine. We, we can have customs open to get the power running through. There's, there's no issue whatsoever. It just means that we've got to make sure we keep people running into there. So I've got ten more tires going up that way. And I'm going to bring some copper in as well. I get ten more copper going in as well. Uh, I'm going to need some people going into customs next. I'll send you up. Run those in there. I'll send up another five people. And those five people there... Let's pause you a second. You've actually gone a bit too far on that. So I've got five people going into here for customs. And I've got five people going up there. I'm going to send another five people going up there. That one's up and running. So I'll send more people there into customs. You don't have a train at the moment. Go on. There we go. Send some more up there. That one. Send some people into there. You need to go back that way a little bit because you went a bit too far. There you want to come down that way. Now turn around and go down this way. Send another copper train out. We've got five people going up that way. So that'll make ten people up there. Customs is still open. Stop you and turn you round, send out some books. You will go up that way, you're going to come in round here and come down. Uh, that one I'm going to straighten up, that one I'm going to straighten up, that one I'm going to turn round. You over here I'm going to pause like that, switch and put you back that way. Uh, am I going to need to pause those books coming out before it gets through. No, I'm not. That's going to go through very nicely. We've got five people at customs over there. Send more people through to customs over this side. I still need five copper bars to come down here. Mistake. I made an error. I've got the bars up there. So I need to send out coal over this way. That's got to go that way. And you need to switch there. Keep the customs open. Yeah, right, customs is staying open. You're coming through there. I'll let that coal come through all the way through customs before I stop it. And I'll pause you there a second. You're going to come round and bring your books in here. You're going to go. i got ten of them that need to come up through. we got fifteen and a half minutes. Send that up through, send that up through, and you can switch. So you switch, and we get five people going there out of that one. I'll send the people out. They can go. This one over here, I want to bring those materials out. What's going to be the best way? If I switch that one over, run that down that way. Stop you a second. You're going to come down here. Yeah, you're just going to go back, aren't you? So, it's probably not the best way to go. You carry on. So where am I going to get... Where? How am I going to get you out? Switch that one to there for a minute. And I'll bring you back up that way and I'll switch you. And then I'll do that and you will go in through there. Right, so we can run you that way. I'll do the same with the next lot. Bring you out that way. Uh... Right, well, if you're coming down here, I can't have... Cu customs isn't open at the minute, but that's all right. If I get the ten people in here, then that bit will be done. So I've got all of the people in there that I need, and I've now got five copper bars making. So that's all right. And bring you up just a little bit further, turn you round, and do that. I have got, at the moment, 566,000, so I am short on funds. I'm going to need more money coming through. Let's go to that one there. Switch you. 
Like that. But I want to get those copper bars in. I want to just bring that round there. I want to have an additional option. Which I don't have from here. Uh, I'm going to have to reverse. That's alright. We can reverse that one in. Okay, send you out. You want to go in. Oh, we don't want to send you that way. I'm going to bring you to that one. How am I gonna? How am I even gonna get you there? You're gonna go out this way. If you come down there, that's no good. Cause maybe reverse. You can go up there, but you can't change tracks. There is a very easy way here. I just need to go like that. So I can bring you down here and swivel you in, and then you put the five of them in there where they need to go. That's that bit. Right, that's easy enough. I've got books over here that I can bring through. Off you go again. Let's bring out some books. So that's a bit more money that's coming through. So you are going to go down that way. You're going to switch there and go round. The books. How did I bring... Oh, the books just go straight through, don't they? Right, you're going to you're gonna do that. You're going to go through there. And you're going to go straight in. So I've only got those to bring out. Switch that one over. Straighten that one and send you up there. You're not going to get in the way of the books. But the books have just made a mistake. They need to go back that way. There. Change. Change again. You go in there. Send out more of those. Now I want to send out workers from here. They're going to go up round and towards the books. So they're going to keep generating some books. So that one can go up there. You straighten up. And I can send some more out. Let's get another train. Send you out. And should I get another train? I don't need to get another train at the moment. So that one will go out. And send another one of those out. So I've got ten lots of workers coming in here. i got ten lots of workers going over there. I've got workers going that way. I've already got 10 of these. I want to get some workers going out there. They can go on round. I will get 10 lots of workers going over to here. Because that's more money. 19 minutes. I haven't even gotten close. Once again, I have completely failed. But again, I'm starting to think that getting a four-star victory the first time you go in is a pretty good accomplishment. I'm starting to think that that is actually something that we can be quite proud of. We've still got to make another $125,000. I'm confident that we can do that. I am quite confident that we can do that. We've got the uh, scholars now. So I want one lot of scholars to come out immediately. They're going to go... Right, that's $35,000. It'll be $70,000 with the scholars. So I've just got to get... I've got to get a few more. I want to send out some of those. Now that best practice one there seems to be sending them down over that way. You want scholars in there. You go down that way. You go over that way, round. I stop you and then you come back in here to go to there. I've got some more books made now. So there's 35 grand. This is 30 grand. It's going to be most of it with that 30 grand right there. Bring you out. A little bit further and stop again and then turn you round. So you will now go back into there. Send out some books as well. Just switch that one up there. They'll go out through. So there's 30 grand's worth on there and another 30 grand on there. And then all i got to do is get some scholars back home. And I should be able to do that within the allotted time scale. Send out another lot of those. And I'll easily... Oh, actually... Yeah, yes, I do. But by the time those books get over, I'll have made more of these. So I just want to speed that up a little bit. Because I've only got to get five scholars in that one. Bring them down into... How am I, how am I going to get them into that second one? Up that way. We just loop them round up there. That's all we need to do. So i got 30,000 coming in there. I'll speed you up a bit. There... Oh, wait. Stop you a second. 
Slow that down. I got a minute and a little bit, but I want to bring out some. I completely forgot about customs on here. You know what? That's a waste of money. It would be better just just bring it in because I've only got one minute and I've still got to get one train full of scholars. So it's, it's only one of those. It'll be twenty five thousand that I get from that train. There, twenty or twenty four thousand. That's all right. Um, and I have made the money that I needed, which is a good job really because that one's gone on his merry gone off somewhere else. So I bring you over that way. You go there and that brings in that little lot of scholars. Double check all the way. That's right. Yeah, you come in and you will go in there. Uh, let's go full speed. Is it going to do it in four seconds to spare? Just four seconds to spare, but we did do it. We got a four star victory. I'm pleased with that. I'm very pleased. Next on the list, we have the Train Valley Park. 18 and a half minutes. Do not destroy objects with total combined worth of 15 grand. Do not allow any train to arrive at the wrong station. Right. We need to make dynamite. With, uh, they require dynamite. Dispatch a train produces dynamite. So I've got to produce dynamite up there. 35,000. What's that? Oh. It, we got to buy dynamite. Okay. Another new mechanic just to make life difficult. We have to purchase dynamite and blast it off of each of these areas so that we can get through and we can put the tracks down. What we actually need is 10 steel and 10 tools over there. 10 glass, 10 timber, 10 chairs. Timber is produced here. Logs are produced here. I've got a bridge up there. I can make bridges and tunnels in this one. I can't get through there. That one up there looks like well, it can get through to there. It can come round to this one got objects there on the ground coal sand is all the way sands all, what's sand doing all the way over there it's not gonna be able to come down that bit <laughs> uh, I can build a bridge across there so I can get into that bit what's the benefit of doing that down there Where's, where's that one even going to go? Well, that one can come out and we go out and up that side. Requires sand. We've got glass into there. That one there needs to be blasted. So we can get through there. That one will need to be blasted so we can get through. Uh, how on earth are we going to do this? <laughs> oh, this is insane. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. What on earth are we going to do here? Well, we've got a little castle over there. That's not going to do anything. That's not going to do anything. That's... I don't see that's going to be beneficial at all. That might be, but I don't think that's enough. I think you need a, a wider area. We certainly... No, you certainly can't get across there, so... No, that's going to be any use. Tunnels. Tunnel through there. It's not going to really be beneficial because we can go around there. We can avoid the trees and still get in there. And we want to come up round. We want to go around here. There's only so long that I can continue working through puzzles at any one time before my brain starts to hurt. So we're going to take a little short break from this. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.